great job, Patty. All right, a local brewer is reigniting his passion. It comes after he left the business last year. Shelby Riley shows us how you can't keep a brewer out of the brewery. Then the next thing you know, we're in the back making beer. That's not a saying you hear too often, but you're probably not surprised if you know anything about Doug Hayes, former owner of TJ Hayes Winery. After taking a little bit of a break, which was well needed, you know, you kind of get that itching back that you want to you want to brew and do some things, you know, and, and I reached out to Tyler because I knew he had a, a beer license. Owner of Water Tower Estates, Tyler Woodward, says he made and sold beer in previous years, but it became a lot to keep up with on his own. You'd always say, hey, if you ever need any help in the back, just let me know. I'd be more than welcome to come help you out. And, and so finally, we kind of took him up on that offer. Hayes and Chaz Johnson are brewing the beer with Tyler, which officially launched this week. That is their Buck Light, and so um, it's kind of Doug and Chaz's recipe that, that they've created, and, and it's, a, it's a really good light ale, and uh, it's it, it just very smooth and, and very easy drinking. Hayes says he's known the Woodwards for years, and it's really funny to see how life always lands you exactly where you need to be. We'll get a, a make the beer, do what we love doing that, and I don't have to mess with the business side, the permits, the taxes, none of that stuff. It's it's just going in, having fun, and enjoying yourself, and hopefully making some good beer. All right, for now, the beer is only sold at Water Tower's Wabash location. They hope to add it to the Spring Hill location soon and create more recipes.